Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, today I'm super excited. I get to be part of the Newton's Nook Designs, Deck the Halls with Inky Paws blog hop. And I encourage you guys to join in the fun. There's lots of inspiration for this blog hop. And it's kind of like the finale to the week long Deck the Halls with Inky, um, Inky Paws um, blog feature over at Newton's Nook Designs. So I'll leave a link down below in the description area in case you guys want to check it out. And um, we're going to create a project today. We're going to create three of them using the Festive Bond stamp set. Um, love the stamp set. In fact, all the images in here are super cute. I want to stamp them all, um, including that little itty bitty bird. We're going to stamp that as well. I stamped on Nita 80 pound cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then we're going to do a little bit of coloring with my Copic markers. Now I left the coloring in. I sped it up quite a bit, but I'm going to play a little music while I color. And then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. 
Now I'm going to use my scissors and fussy cut my images out. There are coordinating dies that go with the Festive Fawns stamp set and I'll link both the stamp set and the dies down below in case you guys want to check it out. But the images in here are so sweet. Aren't they so cute? Okay, to create my background, I'm going to bring in a Newton's Nook Designs stencil. This is the Evergreen stencil. And I'm going to be using this panel here for this card base. Now the size of this card base here is three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. In my stash, I have these smaller envelopes. So our card today is going to be a smaller than a note card size. Um, this is an A2 size card base, so you can see the difference. But um, I thought it'd be fun to make a smaller note card. Actually, it's small enough even if you wanted to make it a tag, you probably could get away with it. The panel size that I'm using for the front of my card base is through measures three inches by four and a quarter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and spray some pixie spray on my stencil because it's pretty detailed. Now we're going to work on our background. I'm going to bring in my craft mat here and I wanted to do a little bit of shading with Distress Oxide ink. I'm using Tumble Glass and just lightly shading my background. I cut out three panels with the size and again the size of this is three inches by four and a quarter. So it's going to leave me a little bit of a white border even on my smaller note card. <laughs> I think it's going to look really pretty behind those images. Okay, my pixie spray has a time to set on my stencil, so I'm just going to tack it down over the top. And we are going to shift the stencil for all three panels, so each tree's layout in the background is different. I'm using um, peeled paint to color in my trees, just doing a light shading. And I thought it was a little too dark. I kind of wanted to match the tree, the greens that were in my images, so I'm bringing in some more green ink. This is Twisted Citron just to lighten it up in a few little areas. And your trees turn out so beautiful, so easy. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing with another panel. This time we're going to shift it all the way to the right. And I don't think I need to add any ink. I'm just going to use the ink that's on my blending tool. So using both blending tools with the Twisted Citron and the Peeled Paint worked great. So that panel's done. And then we're going to do one more. We'll probably use the mid area here and we'll just do our little shading. Easy peasy with this. And I think it'd be really neat if you wanted um, to use some um, glitter paste over the stencil, over the trees. It'd be really fantastic. <laughs> okay, I have a little spot I'm going to clean off. Now for my images, I kind of don't like them floating. So what I'm going to do is create some snow banks. I'm just going to use the leftover piece that I cut out for each one of my panels. And just using my scissors, I'm just going to freehand my snow banks. And I'm going to do it to all three panels, just making them a little bit different. I'm going to pop each one of them up with some foam adhesive. So we have a little dimension on our panels and then any excess overhanging, we're just going to trim off and then our three panels are ready to go. Okay, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. There's three sentiments in the stamp set. We're going to start off by stamping, oh dear, Christmas is here. And I'm going to stamp it with my Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is going to go on the snow bank. It fits beautifully there. And then for our next sentiment, we're going to stamp that on our panel that's all the way to the left. And this one um, will, won't fit on our snow blank, so we'll put it up in the sky here. And then once this is stamped, we'll stamp our last one. And then this one will fit on our snow bank as well. We'll just ink that up and stamp that. And I think that looks fantastic. So our sentiments are ready to go. Okay, now we're going to flip these over. I'm going to add foam adhesive behind all three panels and also behind all my images. We're going to layer our panel on our card base. And then we'll just remove the release paper and do that to all three of our card bases. And this was really fun. I don't think, normally I always make an A2 size card. So making a smaller one was super fun. I really enjoyed it. It was like a cross between a card and a tag. The best of both. <laughs> and the stencil worked out beautifully too. I just love the way this turned out. Okay, so there's our card fronts ready to go. Now we're going to add our images. We're going to put our little snowman on this one. I didn't want to 
the bunny to overlap all my sentiment. Um, for this one, we're going to go ahead and add our fawn. And then I love the little bird. I just love him. In fact, um, after we place our sled and our reindeer here on our last panel, we are going to bring in some, um, some more of the 80 pound cardstock, just a leftover piece that I had. And we are going to stamp three more birds. I'm going to stamp them with my memento ink and just coloring them in with two shades of red Copic markers. Um, I believe I used the R37 and um, that was my lightest shade. My darkest shade was, if I don't make too much noise, was R59. These were super easy to color in, but I love cardinals in the winter. I just think they're so pretty and it adds a little extra touch of red. I colored all the, the reindeer's noses red so I wanted to bring in a little bit more red. And I also, um, my first bird that I colored in, I forgot to color in his, um, his beak. <laughs> so it gave me a chance to color in all the beaks orange. Okay, I just fussy cut them out. Now I added one bird on top of the stack of presents. One next to my little snowman. And then we're gonna add this little guy right next to the sentiment. And then um, our first one we put on um, the tail of our, our reindeer there. I think they look so sweet, so easy to do too. Okay, now of course I gotta add a little sparkle with some bells and whistles. So I'm bringing in some Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is White Blizzard, so it'll dry iridescent. And all the um, white areas be behind my stenciling and the trees, I'm adding the glitter to. And the camera's just not picking it up, it's, and I'm sorry it's getting fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I thought we'd go ahead and add a little sparkle to his cap and to his scarf too. Okay, um, after I did that to all of my trees, I thought, you know what, let's add some chunks of glitter. So this is just clear glitter that I picked up at Walmart and it's it's like a chunky glitter. Um, I loved adding the glitter to the glitter drops because it when it dried, guys, it looks like icicles. It was so neat when it dries. And I'm hoping the, the pictures will pick it up. But um, after I added my chunky white glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some red and white Baker's twine. We're gonna pull out some of that red and our little cardinals. We're just gonna tie a bow to the very top of each one of our little note cards. And I just love the way they turned out. <laughs> super easy and again you could use these as tags if you wanted to um, or a small gift that's nice too just tie a bow and then trim off the tails and we'll do that to all three and that's my project today guys I encourage you guys to check out the blog hop going on now um, I'll leave Newton's Nook blog down below if you want to start at the beginning it's always a great place to start and then um, there's a blog hop lineup there. You can just follow along. It's super fun. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.